everyone, my name is Rosalind Streeter. Welcome to the Journey of Vision, where you will soon learn it's just so much easier with God. All right, you guys, come on and let's chat. Okay, you guys, I am back again. Listen, we're on the last part. God said, don't forget about the source. And this is related to a word that or a message that he released to us on May 1st, 2024. All right, so if you haven't watched part one through four, please go ahead and watch it for great understanding. All right, let's jump back in, part five. Now this starts off with another vision, right? God's given us a lot of visions. So I'm gonna share the vision with you and then I'll go over what God said, okay? So I saw a vision of a little boy and he was driving like a four-wheeler power truck, okay? And he was having so much fun. He was excited. He was laughing. I can hear him laughing right now. Until the battery died. And I can even see him right now drooping his head down, y'all. He was just so excited. And then the battery died. And that excitement left so quickly. And if you're a parent, you understand what I mean, right? <laughs> As I watched him, he was left alone to sit there and he was saddened and disappointed in this truck. He was just so upset about the truck. And I could hear him crying and complaining. And he was saying, mommy, it doesn't work. Mommy, it doesn't work. Then I heard him say, it's not working. Like he's just crying as, you know, his mom is so disappointed that this thing made him so excited. It made him so happy. And then all of a sudden, disappointment. Mm. Come on now, y'all. And then all I saw was all he needed, even though all those complaints that he made, all that crying that he did, right? Just feeling down, depleted, mm, worthless. Come on, that this thing doesn't work anymore. Something's wrong with it. All he needed was the power source. My God, that is long lasting and everlasting. Jesus, Elohim. Come on now, God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. So then I heard God say, trust me. <laughs> you do not want to forget about the source. So in that very moment, right? The little boy forgot about the source. He forgot that all I have to do is plug up, right? He forgot, oh, maybe it's just the battery. The battery died. He was so consumed about that thing and how it wasn't working properly instead of being consumed about the source. Come on now. My goodness, God is speaking. He is speaking. I mean, the boy was complaining and crying and just feeling so down to a point where I could see him saying, how did this thing have me in such a high place? But all of a sudden, a low place. Come on. Mm. So again, I heard God say, trust me. You don't want to forget about the source. Then I heard him say, me. Yes, Lord, you are. So then he showed me another vision. I told you this is just full of visions, y'all. With this vision, I saw someone laying their head down, crying. I'm talking about just crying so hard because they're having such a hard time. And I heard depleted. I heard the Holy Spirit say depleted. And again, exhausted and tired and drained that there is so much going on. Like just like the little boy is so much happening, but not happening. Right. Come on. And then I heard God say, this is the time 
to run back to me your source so whoever i am speaking to who's depleted who finds themselves depressed and crying and complaining about the things that are happening all around you how things are just not working out what is going on god said this is the time come on now he just released this word he said this is the time i need you to run back to me your source he said i will make you new again amen <laughs> and then i saw one more vision y'all before i end this and i saw god again blowing a new fresh wind as you're running to him come on draw near to me and i'll draw near to you as you're moving close to him i see him blowing the wind Mm, as you enter into his presence my god the ones that want to see lord allow them to see what you just showed me jesus because that beautiful wind that is pouring from heaven onto this person as they draw near to god god said a fresh wind on you and then i heard him say i love you son i love you daughter y'all y'all so good so i encourage you to run back to the father this is out of love. God wants you to understand the problem here, right? He's not here to condemn us. No, that's not what it is. He's like, I love you enough as your father to tell you what it is. I just want you to run back to me, plug back into the source, and let's just get going. That's it. Come on, I see somebody get, oh, I see the same person lifting up their head. It's a woman. I see you lifting up your head, and I see you wiping back the tears. And you're like, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to plug back into the source. Come on. Thank you, Lord. So God is correcting us so that we remember where our help comes from. It is him. He's the only one. He's the only one that matters, you guys. And Lord, I thank you for this. I thank you and we love you. And thank you for reminding us, especially with with so much going on in this world, Lord Jesus, I appreciate who you are and how you keep reminding us so that way we can run this race properly. And then I will end here, y'all, on part five. So at the end of this, this was so good to me, and I pray it's good to you too, especially for God to open up his heart and allow us to just hear it, right? You know how I am. <laughs> But I was like, Lord, I said, I love this, Lord. Like, I love the message. You know what he said? His response was, he said, yes, it's from the heart. And I just smile like I'm doing it on this uncontrollable, right? I cannot get it together. <laughs> but he said, yes, it's from the heart. His heart is so beautiful. Even when he's correcting us, it's just, <sighs> I can listen to his heart all day, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys. So again, I just pray that you really enjoy this message. My goodness, God said, don't forget about the source. Don't forget about me, right? Plug back in and I got you. So as you know, there's a lot more videos coming up. I believe we're going into a number series. Yes. And so hold on to what God has shared with part one through five. This is for May. Come on now. 2024. Fresh wind. New wind. Brand new you. Get up. It's time to start over. Be renewed in Christ. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world is what God stated. Right? Believe it and count it done. And say, you know what, Lord? I am strengthened by you. So I will walk right. I will do as thus says the Lord. I will come and seek your face first my God about that thing the one that created the thing because you give me life you created the universe and there is no one better than who you are thank you Jesus Oof. and I see him blowing again come on now he's blowing on you 
receive it. Say, Lord, I receive the brand new me and I count it all joy. Everything that I went through, every trial and tribulation that I went through, it is my season. Come on, get up and let's go. That's it. Plug into the source, you guys. All right, you guys, so I am done. So you already know I am so, so, so deeply in love with love. And God is love. And just know we love you. Bye.